this time what we want to do is to create this drawing right here for our engineering portfolio binder. This shows how we used AutoCAD to design these P signs as you see here to the left. However, what we need to do is to do a scale drawing that shows the P signs pretty much in the same orientation as we produced them on our laser engraver. What's also important is to determine and to define that this is the P sign medallion project. Also, what software we use, which was AutoCAD, what machine we use, which was the Rabbit laser engraving machine, and who was the designer and who was the maker, and in this case, it was myself. So we need to show our work and be able to have that in a presentation format in our engineering portfolio binder. So that way, clients can not only see that we've produced this product, but actually how we produced it, and that we are actually the ones who did the work. So let's get started in creating our engineering portfolio binder drawing. Okay, I've gone ahead and opened up the drawing uh, that I've already created, but I wouldn't go through this process again of creating this actual drawing for you. So let's remember where we started from. We started from our actual model view, which is this as you see here. But how do we get to this right here and produce that? So here's the process. So what I'm going to do at this point is go back here and then notice this one thing here. It says new layout, this little uh, plus button here, here in the lower left. Click on that. And what it's going to do is create a new layout drawing. Now, th remember, this is the view model view where we do our design. Layout is how we set up our drawing for us to be able to print or what they call plot out onto paper. So let's get started. Now, once we go from model view here over to layout view, you get this uh, different set of, uh, of icons down here in the bottom. So if I, so in layout view, if I click paper, it switches to model upon which I can zoom in and zoom out. But also there's some house cleaning we've got to do here as well. Uh, notice how we've got this grid here. If I click on this grid, it turns it off. But also we have this thing here called a viewport. So the viewport is this gold box as you see going around the screen. Well, we've got to address that as well. So in doing so, I'm going to go back to uh, paper view and I'm going to click on this viewport. Now, once I click on this viewport, I can do some things and change it. First thing I'm going to do is come up here to layout. Now, if you come up here to layout, you notice I've already got viewport set here as well. Well, that was from the previous one I did. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this viewport 2. Go back and capitalize that first letter so I can see where it's at. Viewport 2. And I've got a highlight uh, color of, uh, of black. And we want to make sure that everything is set up here the way we want. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to click on this uh, viewport drawing here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and X out of this. I've selected him. And now he's in border. So I'm going to take him down here to viewport 2. Now if I take him to viewport 2, you notice how it just created this uh, uh, that turned the actual thing to uh, the box to black. So now with that set, I'm going to go ahead and move this up to this corner and move this down to this corner here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Grab this and move it over to that corner as close as I possibly can. Okay, good. Okay, now once we've got that set up, we'll go ahead and click off here to the side, hit escape. We've kind of got an idea what our viewport's going to look like. I'm going to modify that just a little bit more. Move up here to this view again. Modify that up to about right there. Click on that. And then I'll do zoom to extents so I can see it. All right, now let's go back to our model view here. And the other important thing is to notice our scale of our object there as well. So let's go ahead and set the scale of our project to one to one. So that way our part and our thing that we created is actually at that right scale. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. Uh, make sure you're back to one to one here. Careful when you roll in and roll out. Okay, remember when you're in actually in a pay-per-view here, Go select this to pay-per-view. What I see on the screen is what I'm going to print. So if I've got a color printer and I've got gold for this box you can barely see and I've got purple or 
whatever color I have here, that's a color that's going to get uh, printed and plotted out on paper. So we've got to fix that. So what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to go ahead and go back to model view here and I'm going to open up, uh, let's go ahead and select all this just so I got it selected. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to open up my layers. Now, when I click on one of these objects here, you'll see the color. It. You can see right here it says viewport color. I need to move these over so you can see them a little bit better. Okay, so here's my viewport color. So what I'm going to do at this point in time is I'm going to turn everything to black. Okay, hit OK. And as you can tell, I got all my peace signs that color. Well, there's a shape that goes around it, which is this guy right here, and it shows that layer is locked, and that shows the NDF layer uh, right there, so I'll unlock that. And I'm going to come over here and say that that uh, print color on viewport is going to be black as well. <coughs> so you can see how I've got that now turned to black. So let's go ahead and uh, close that off here. And first, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make a selection here, hit my move command, and I'm going to uh, you know, move from here over to the corner. Oops, I messed up my scale again. So let's go ahead and click out here, kind of scroll up. I keep messing up that scale. All right, that's fine. Hit zoom and enter that. And we're going to hit extend, so we zoom out to there. Again, I'm working in the model view as opposed to scale view. That's okay, we can fix that again. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this back to uh, this shows you the annotation scale. I'm going to go ahead and set that to one to one, which is good. All right, so in the uh, pay per view here, I'll uh, select all that and I'll move out here and let's go ahead and get this selected and let's do this in pay per view again. So I'll start here and I'll move this over to this corner. That's good. All right, so now that we've got that set, we're going to go ahead and save our file uh, real quickly. And now we want to go in and we want to create text. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here to my text command and I'm going to go to multi-line text. I'll come out here and start somewhere about right here and I'll just zoom out and I'm going to key in um, Again, let's go back to the end in mind. So the end in mind is peace sign medallion product project. So key that in. Project. Now, if you notice, um, it's justified to the left. So I'm going to hit this. I'm going to highlight that and center it to the middle. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit enter twice. And again, with the end in mind, let's see how it looks. It says using AutoCAD and Rabbit Laser Engraver and Designer Maker Richard Platt. So we come back here. Okay. So we got our text put in there. Again, the text is gold. So let's go back to this border layer by open up layer properties. So we'll come back here to where it says border. We'll turn the uh, view, uh, viewport color to, <clears throat> to black. So we've got that set. So pretty much almost done, except for maybe one more thing. I want to put a line here that kind of delineates between the two. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit uh, select line, or I could have key in the L command. I just come out here and I'll draw myself a line. Uh, let's see here, line or the border layer. Hit the L command. Hit escape. So that's really all you have to do is to create this. So again, save your file. Do a Control S to save your file. Now at this time, we can come over here and we want to plot this. The way we're going to plot it here in class is we're going to save this as a PDF file or plot to a PDF file. So I do a right mouse click and I'll come up here and I'll go to uh, where it says plot and it says continue to plot. It says, it says we have multiple open, so I'm going to say continue to plot single sheet 
and here instead of selecting a printer I'm going to come up here and says Microsoft print to PDF critical is to know what our, our orientation is in this case we've got our drawing orientation set to landscape that's what we want scale is one to one now we hit OK now it's going to come up and ask us for a name and I'm going to put this in the correct uh, folder peace sign medallion project and I'm going to go ahead and say in this case peace sign medallion and I'm going to give mine a version 4 so that way I've got four versions of it so I'm going to go ahead and hit save and so it writes the file out to a PDF file so I'll come over here to my directory and I'll come up here to this I'll go up one layer to where it says P signs and I'll find the one I just created as you can tell I printed this out a few times or produced it a few times I'm just going to double click this and open up my default Acrobat PDF viewer and okay it looks like it's got a drawing in here so let's go ahead and zoom out to scale exactly that's what we wanted we have our drawing now produced and we'll go ahead and print this off on our laser engraver in class or at home and put it in our engineering portfolio binder but as you saw earlier we'll go ahead and glue on the actual peace signs that we created I always leave one uh, blank so that way that peace sign shows what I started with and how the others look when I finish okay so let's go and take care of that business and put this in our portfolio binder.